Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Béla Bognar, and I am the one who founded this scholarship program that you are here to honor. I would like to thank several people. First of all, it's a great honor to be here. And I would like to thank Dr. Suzanne Pekarovich and the ambassadors of the future. My health won't let me come here. Doctors won't let me come. I am undergoing rehabilitation after spinal surgery. I would like to welcome and thank for his attendance, the newly appointed ambassador to the United States from Hungary, Dr. Laszlo Szabó. And I also would like to invite him to come to visit us in Dayton, Ohio, and be a guest of the Magyar Club of Dayton. I would like to thank the award you are giving me in, in the name of my supporters and also all my students, future ambassadors. We have 61 students at this time, this school year in six countries, including the United States, Hungary, Transylvania, uh, Slovakia, Serbia, Ukraine, all these countries where Hungarian minorities live. Our students are all very bright, multilingual, and also they are very, very poor. And our goal is to convince them to stay in their communities after they finish and provide leadership to all the Hungarians there. I would like to tell you why I am doing all of this, because many people are asking. And I have to tell my story and my relationship with my grandmother. I was born exactly two days before this day, 86 years ago. This is a great birthday present for me to be here. I was born on top of this grapes and orchard hill in Pakot Zala County. And my parents came up from the village to help with grape picking of the grapes. And I was born four o'clock in the morning next day. My grandmother said to uh, my mother, keep little Bela here for a couple of days and I will take care of her, her, him. You can come up to uh, feed, breastfeed him, but we have six cows here. There is plenty of milk. From the few days, it took six years before she let me go down to school, first grade. She was four year educated peasant woman who had such good memory that she memorized the prayers of the entire Catholic Church and tried to teach me some. Then came 1956. At this time, the revolution was over and I wanted to say goodbye to everybody. The grandmother lived with my family and late at night I was taking the midnight train to go to the Austrian border. And she came out with me to the gate, kissing me, hugging me and crying. And she said these eternal words that, that guided my life to this day. Uh, remember, my little Bela, what I repeat, repeated to you all these years when we said goodbye. 
What you do for others will give meaning to your life. And she repeated this twice. That is why I am here today and hopefully I will continue. Thank you.